All right, everyone, Cody here. Welcome back to Mars Base Chicken Hole. So as you can see, I've got a little trailer that fits onto my rover there. <laughs> Very nice, I've been wanting one of these for years. Uh, the goal for today was just to deliver some supplies in preparation for my week-long stay here. You know, just so I have stuff to do. Uh, these buckets here, I'm bringing them out mostly to get them out of the yard. Uh, the system that I'm going to have set up for the actual habitat is going to be very similar to my hydroponic system that I had during my gardening with Cody series a couple of years ago. The system will just be larger and self-contained. So I'll still probably find a use for these buckets. Uh, I've got this plastic tank here which is going to go onto the back of that one there. I've also got in the truck itself some wood, some various other supplies, there's some metal rod, I don't know if you can see. And right here, I've actually got some frames of honey. This is for my bees, of course. I actually took these off the hive uh, just before I moved it out here, just so it would be lighter, easier to carry. But considering how much I give them, they're probably running low uh, this time of year, so I'm going to give this back to them. So since the moths actually managed to get out this frame, and I've only got one hive in the area, I'm just going to set it up here next to their water bucket, and I'll just let the bees uh, carry the honey back to their hive. They seem to almost enjoy doing that. It's early in the morning, so they're kind of cold and they're not flying out at me. That's nice. I'm going to put a little bit of a pollen patty right here. This is a protein supplement. Yeah, leave that open a little bit. There's no flowers this time of year, so I'm going to have to supplement them. Had a fighter jet fly over. <laughs> that was loud. Wish I got the camera sooner. Oh well. Well, now that we've unloaded everything, I suppose it's time to go get another load. Here's what we got for the second load. I've got, uh, some more parts to my aquaponic system. The fencing for my little chicken pen. And I also got some siding for the greenhouse and some more wood for supports up here. A little pen, which I think I might make part of the chicken coop thing. Some manure because I don't have enough compost ready to go, and I want to plant things ASAP. I also got some jars of food. Each of these is a meal. Obviously I'm going to need more, but I'm kind of delaying bringing the rest of it out. I'm worried about it freezing and breaking the jars. We'll get 
this one loaded. Looks like it scraped a little bit right there. There's some more siding, some plywood. Also brought out a bunch of bee boxes, mostly to get them out of my parents' yard. <laughs> Got some more grocery supplies, canned food, that kind of thing. I have run into a little bit of a problem with the trailer. As you see, if you look down here. There's a bolt missing. This hitch is now rather sloppy. In fact, this right here looks a bit loose. That bolt's probably going to pull out as well. So I can't transport the trailer like that. I hiked down the road and I was able to find the bolt. Came out not too far away. Which is good. But now, you can see the, the threads are kind of messed up on it, so I really can't use it. I was thinking what I could do is take this bolt here and uh, tie the chain into somewhere else. Just use this nut and you know, this greater length to put it in the hole. Maybe use the body clip that's there as a washer for now until I get it back home and I can work on it. But really, why would I bother? I've already got everything here that I needed the trailer for. The trailer's already home, really. Let's just leave it here. Fix a hitch, come back, and I'll get the trailer if I need it again. I'll probably just uh, take a tire off and take it with me or hide it so that nobody can hook onto the trailer and steal it. I've had Robo Cody burn a little bit more bush, so I'll just park it right here. Say hi, are these passing through? They must be looking for cows. They are heading over the skyline. <laughs> Somebody must have found a cow. It's fun to watch people work. <laughs> well, there it is. Let's leave it there. So I'll go get the chickens. Should be the final load for now. Got a bunch of stuff, including chickens. All right, chickens. You guys have grown up a little bit since you were last year, huh? You notice there's only four of them here. The other two roosters are not getting along. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to put those together. some of your food out and some water so you'll stick around. Yep. Hopefully the wind will stay calm for me just for a minute so I can talk to the camera. So the chickens seem to be settling in just fine. Even gotten a couple of eggs from them. Sit her down. Also, I have here a kitty cat. I've currently been calling him Bud, or Buddy. But if you guys got a better name than that, I'd love to hear it. 
Maybe we'll decide on something here in a couple weeks or whenever I have the next episode. Sit him down as well. So, I was going to stay out here for a whole week. Yeah, and that was mostly just so I could get things done. Completely unrelated to the virus that's going around, but is probably a decent thing to do with the virus. I've been taking a lot of precautions. I've tried to avoid going anywhere where there's other people. I've sanitized my hands before touching the fuel pump. I even installed an antivirus on uh, RoboCody here. <laughs> I'm still going to do the uh, week stay out here. I'm still going to do a video. Might even extend it to more than that. I might end up running back to the house and picking up some more supplies, watering my plants, etc. But I'm going to be staying away from people for a while. <laughs> but what's new? I mean, I've already been pretty isolated for the last year. Yeah, this isn't much for me. This isn't much of a video. But I'm going to post this. and I'll try to get some more out for you to be entertained while you guys are in isolation as well. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. We'll get through this. Hey everyone. Sorry if that chain's making noise. So I'm just going for a little walk here. There's the chickens. You see them. There's the cat. This thing. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> I got a stir on my head. <laughs>